Americans are asking the question, who the hell is Jorge Ramos? Well, he's this anchor on Univision that just did a media stunt at a Donald Trump press conference, and it's about the best promo he's ever had. That's what this is. So Trump is back in the news. And let me just point out, number one, Trump did not manufacture this. He didn't create it. He only responded to it. Now, those are absolutes. And here's another absolute. When you have a press conference, there has to be some formality to it. You can't have four, five, six people standing up shouting questions, and the person who shouts the loudest is the one that gets called on. And I respect the fact that Trump was trying to do a press conference last night in Dubuque, Iowa, and he was calling on reporters. How is it that every freaking reporter in the room knew what the formality of it was, except this guy named Ramos, who pulled a media stunt, and it's the best promotion, it's the most talked about event this guy's ever had in his entire goddamn career. And so now Trump's the bad guy. Look, I'm not defending Trump, I'm defending the process. If anybody at the White House press corps were to pull that kind of a stunt, they would have been pushed right out of the room. And I don't know if they'd have been allowed back in. Ramos gets up and starts making statements about getting rid of 11 million undocumented workers and immigrants in this country. It's telling Trump that he can't do it. So he wants to get noticed. He wants to get called on. Trump wasn't ready to call on him. And the thing that's interesting about this is that this guy Ramos is an anchor on Univision. Now, when has Donald Trump turned down interviews with notable news anchors. Trump's everywhere. Trump interviews with everybody. If this guy wanted to interview Trump so bad, why didn't he invite him? Maybe he has. I don't know. But I think that we got to be fair about this, that here's Trump trying to do a press conference, and then this unfolds uh, last night at, uh, in Dubuque, Iowa. Trump has a question about immigration. Uh, during the time. Okay, who's uh, next? Yeah, please. Excuse me, sit down. You weren't called. Sit down. No, no, sit down. No, no, I'm a, I'm sit down. Go ahead. I have the right to ask the question. No, you don't. Know, you haven't been called. No, I, have the, I have the right to ask the question. Go back to and this is No, this is the question. Go ahead. You cannot deport 11 million. You cannot deport 11 million people. You cannot build a 1,900-mile wall. Okay. You cannot deny citizenship. All right, so this guy is supposed to be a news anchor, and he's telling Trump that he can't build a wall. He's telling Trump that he can't deport people. Now, where's the objectivity there? That's not reporting. That's standing up, interrupting the process, and making a statement. And Trump did the right thing by telling him to get his ass back to Univision because that's where he belongs. Now, you know, look, this is the attraction of Trump. It's, it's a matter of respect. I guarantee you Trump's going to go up in the polls on this one. He doesn't have to take that crap, okay? And so then Trump is asked, how did he handle that? Yes, go ahead. Yes. You're running for president, and uh, one of our country's top journalists, the main anchor of Univision, was just escorted out of your news conference. Do you think you handled that situation correctly? I don't know. I mean, I don't know really much about him. Uh, I don't believe I've ever met him, except he started screaming, and I would I didn't escort him out. Uh, you'll have to talk to security, whoever security is escorted him out. But certainly he was not chosen. I chose you. I chose other people to answer me where you're asking me questions. Uh, he just stands up and starts screaming. So, you know, maybe he's at fault also. But I don't consider that. I mean, somebody walked him out. I don't even know where he is. I don't mind if he comes back, frankly. And he did come back, and he ended up asking a question. But that's irrelevant. There has to be some formality to all of this. And I'd like to see some of the network reporters in the corporate mainstream media to stand up and start interrupting the president and see how President Obama would respond to that. I think that Obama would have responded exactly the same way uh, Trump did. And Trump has every right to do it that way. So this morning on the Today Show, Trump has asked about it term bully Donald when it comes to your dealings with the press. 
I'm not a bully. In fact, I think it's just the opposite way. I'm not a bully. You saw that last night. This man gets up and starts ranting and raving and screaming and honestly very disrespectful to all the other reporters. We had a Sit packed down. house. We had Sit a tremendous down. group of people in Iowa. Right. The the room was, was oh, packed with right. thousands of people. Called. The press room was packed prior to. I did a press you. event prior to. And he Go gets ahead. up and just starts ranting and Go raving. Ahead. Right. Thing is, Trump said uh, in that exchange with Ramos, you haven't been called. Trump didn't say that I'm not going to call on you. Just you haven't been called. Trump wasn't prepared to call on him, and he has every right. And uh, the media has got to show some kind of respect to the guy who is leading in the polls. But respect has fallen by the wayside. Lindsey Graham is flat out attacking attacking he knows he's not going to get the nomination he's polling in the toilet so now he's trying to formulate the narrative around trump this is the senator from south carolina if he becomes the nominee we'll get killed the policies that mr trump is proposing are demagoguery his approach to describing illegal immigrants or hurting us with Hispanics, the way he attacks women is going to be a death blow to the future of our party. Donald Trump is not going to be the nominee of the Republican Party. If he is, that's the end of the Republican Party. He is shallow. He's ill-prepared to be commander-in-chief. He doesn't know what he's talking about in terms of how our laws work. Mm -hmm. He says the worst things possible about immigrants and women, and he's a complete idiot when it comes to Mideast policy. And the chairman of our party said, thought that Donald Trump was a net positive. But let me tell you, I think he's hurting our party. You could dissect that soundbite sentence by sentence, play it for Trump, and let him respond to everything, and you'd never hear from Lindsey Graham again. Now, here's the entertainment cut of the day. Trump talks about teleprompters. Now, when the conservative media has been all over Obama over the years for the use of a teleprompter, which is standard operating procedure for anybody. By the way, I do not have a teleprompter as I look at you in the camera. I don't need one. Uh, and we don't recut. This is the way it is. Uh, but he <laughs> just play the cut. This is just priceless. I love it. These other guys, they go around, they make a speech in front of 21 people. Nobody cares. They can make the same. They read the same speech. They, 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 they. they have teleprompters. I say we should outlaw teleprompters for anybody, right? For anybody. For anybody. Running for president. You shouldn't be. You know how easy that would be? Instead of this, I'm working my ass off. Okay. <laughs> Now, we got to go back to Lindsey Graham and ask him if he agrees with that policy that we should outlaw teleprompters.